Good morning to every one of you. Good morning, sir. Yes. Okay, very good. Today, from your expression, I know that all are in a position to learn the subject and be able to, I mean, answer whenever I am asking. Okay. So that learning and teaching process should be effective only when that students grasp what the teachers are telling by taking notes and all. Right. The meaning of the classroom is that you should learn. Yes, effectively, economically, productively. Without that, we will waste of sitting. Okay. That is my advice for you. Then you see this subject, replacement of an asset. That is coming under the uh, that double accounting, particularly for the electricity company. You know that double accounting is prepared for the, I mean, some concerns uh, that um, electricity company, water supply, and uh, that um, the gas supply, like that. They are not for profit motive. They are getting uh, some subsidies from the, I mean, uh, government also, state government and central government, and run, and supplying electricity with the low rate. And the production cost and profit demand means high cost issue. Here, in this particular chapter, replacement of an asset can, is an important one. Why it is important? Then, uh, what is replacement of a, what is replacement of an asset? By the name itself, one can be able to tell the meaning. That is, replacement means one thing is replaced. Suppose a chair is here, then you are replacing with another one, means you are taking that in some other place and making another one. That is replacement. Here also, in the case of the electricity company, fixed assets, what are the fixed assets for the electricity company? Transformers. See that transformers in olden day, days, what it will be in the position. Olden days, the transformers seems to be big size. Now it seems to be very small type. Understand? Small size. That would be more efficient. So the machines uh, and building to be replaced uh, means, the machines means sophisticated with the latest device may be available. That is one reason for replacement. Another reason is because of the running of the machine for a long period that may be break down and coming to a scrap that is why it should have been, I mean, replaced. These are all the reasons for replacement of the asset. Then, why this replacement of an asset is taken in this particular case? Why, what is the reason for taking the replacement in this particular uh, case means? Uh, here, uh, that um, uh, that replacement of an asset for this electricity company is somewhat different from others. Treatment is different from others. Whereas in the case of the other companies, except electricity company or double accounting, uh, concern going for double accounting uh, means, what they are doing means they have to, I mean, uh, consider all the replacement in the world assets in the revenue. And buying a new machine means that would be capitalized by the payment of cash. Okay. That is the condition. But here the replacement of the cost is taking the three values. One is the real cost of the machine. Okay. Real cost of the machine. You can take note of that. Three cost are involved here. Then only you can easily be able to find out. Real cost. That is actual cost of the machine. And next one is that present value of the machine. Second one is present value of the machine. And third one is the replacement cost. Okay. Actual cost, then present cost, replacement cost. Three. Uh, I have told three. What are they? Actual cost, present cost, replacement cost. Okay. I can tell one example, by that you can get much clearer. That is a machine has been bought for this uh, 5 lakh in 2010. 5 lakh a machine has been bought for two lakh, uh, 5 lakh in 2010. According to the price index, 
that price index compared to the base year of that 2010, that seems to be now say in the, that uh, 400. 400 means that uh, present value would be 400 by 100 into that uh, 5 lakh means 20 lakhs is the present value. Understand? So you have find out the, the actual cost of 5 lakh, present value uh, 20 lakh, then replacement of the machine seems to be say 24 lakhs. Understand? 5 lakh, 20 lakh, 24 lakhs. Here what it means that 20 lakhs should be considered as a revenue item. Return of as a revenue item, that 20 lakh. And the difference between that present value and the replacement cost should be considered as a capital item. That means the 24 lakh minus 20 lakh equal to 4 lakh, that would be considered as a capital item. Now I think it may be clear for you. Okay.